There is no way to make you feel better. There is only tomorrow and then the next day, one moment at a time. One of the things I most enjoy, I think, about writing for games particularly is um, in, in any scenario that you're uh, working in, usually a quest, there's always a heart, what I call the heart of that quest or um, the poignant moment that you can find that has the most meaning or has some meaning at least for the player. In Assassin's Creed Origins, there's a side quest called The Bride. When I came to uh, write, the structure of the quest and the concept of the quest was already there. So the structure of the quest is that a young wife um, has lost her husband to a scorpion bite in Egypt and she's about to throw herself off the cliff and the player in the, in the form of Bayek has to um, try and talk her down off the cliff. So how do you do that without sounding bad and silly and uh, in a very short space of time, I think we had about five minutes of screen time to do it. Uh, so it took a long time for me to find something out of that quest that wasn't contrived, or at least didn't feel contrived to me. Um, and when I did find the line, I, it gave me goosebumps because I knew anybody who has suffered or anybody who has been through a very difficult time in their life will relate to that line. There is no way to make you feel better. There is only tomorrow, and then the next day, one moment at a time. To these moments that you spend hours and days building into a game, you don't know if anyone's going to get it, if it's going to come off, if it's going to um, be successful. I actually watched uh, Reddit and other gaming forums for months afterwards to see if they picked up on all the little narrative Easter eggs that I had hidden in uh, this, the work that I'd done. And so when a fan responds to it, it's just enormously satisfying. I can't explain how great it is. It's a wonderful experience. So my name's Ken. I'm a lead writer at Ubisoft Singapore.